Good morning everyone. Today, we will be taking a closer look at animal diversity. We will start by exploring the invertebrate phyla and examining the different characteristics that define them. Get ready to learn more about these fascinating creatures and the important role they play. Annelida is a phylum of segmented worms composed of earthworms, leeches, ragworms and various marine species. They have a well-developed closed circulatory and excretory system, a complete digestive tract, one or two anterior tentacles and setae or bristles along the body. Their bodies are divided into segments or metameres, with each segment containing its own organs and muscles. Annelids are thought to be the most advanced invertebrate phyla and many species have significant roles in their ecosystems. Annelids belong to the annelid phylum and are a remarkable and varied group of animals. Segmented in body structure, annelids can survive in the most remote places on our planet. With almost 20,000 species, there are many to explore, from the well-known earthworms to peculiar bristle worms and leeches. Every single species is specifically adapted to its environment and some even have beautiful exterior designs. Annelids have a great impact on their habitat, enriching soil with their nutrients and creating burrows for other creatures and vegetation. Annelida is a phylum of segmented worms, otherwise known as the ringed worms or segmented worms. The name Annelida is derived from the Latin word, little ring, and the Greek word, edios form. Annelida have an elongated body, ranging in size from a few millimeters to several meters in length, each segment containing a fluid-filled cavity. Annelida can be found in a broad range of habitats, including marine, freshwater and even some terrestrial environments. Invertebrates constitute the majority of animal species and display a tremendous variety. They inhabit both aquatic and land-based environments and may be free-living or parasites. Most invertebrates are organized in terms of organ systems and often have a body divided into distinct segments. Animals exhibit immense variation in their body plans. Mostly, animals from the triploblastic phyla have three cellular layers, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm, while the rest have only two cellular layers, making them diploblastic. Nevertheless, many features such as a body cavity, body symmetry, and coelom are nearly universal among animal phyla. The body cavity is either a schizocelum or a pseudocoelum, and the body symmetry is usually bilateral. A septum or wall is present to separate the body and the coelom into sections known as metameres. This is a testament to the remarkable adaptability and complexity of animals. Animals display a vast array of shapes and sizes, and a major distinction between them is how they move. Earthworms move forward by using their circular and longitudinal muscles, whereas mollusks and spiders rely on colomic fluid and parapodia, appendages. Certain animals even use suckers to help them move. Invertebrate phyla contain animal diversity and one such example is the coelom. This is a fluid-filled space which gives body stiffness in support of locomotion. For aquatic species, like Nereus, parapodia are found. These are lateral appendages that help in swimming. Adaptation is key in facilitating Nereus to survive in aquatic environments. Cephalization in relation to invertebrates is defined in C Documents and Settings Administrator Desktop B2 JPGs Unit 3. Animal diversity, i. Invertebrate phyla. Cephalization is a more developed trait in invertebrates, which possess a distinct head and sense organs. Respiration is mainly accomplished through simple diffusion through the body walls of invertebrates, though in Nereus, highly vascularized parapodia help with this process. The invertebrate nervous system consists of paired ganglia, a nerve ring and a double ventral ganglionated nerve cord. Invertebrates are of great importance in the animal kingdom because of their sophisticated and adapted body structures. 
They possess a closed circulatory system greatly aided by nephridia for excretion and osmoregulation. Furthermore, it is noteworthy that some invertebrates contain unique respiratory pigments in their plasma, such as hemoglobin and chlorochlorin. These features make invertebrates truly special, and should be acknowledged and admired. This unit looks at the variety of invertebrate phyla. Seeing, feeling and being able to touch are all senses that many of these animals have developed. Some like Nereus are dioecious meaning they have two distinct sexes while others like the earthworm or leech are monoecious having both male and female reproductive organs. They can be either unisexual, that is exclusively one sex, or bisexual, hermaphrodite meaning that they have both sexes. All in all, this unit seeks to uncover the immense diversity of these remarkable creatures. We are given information about the reproductive characteristics of certain groups of invertebrates that have holoblastic cleavage in the early stages of development. There are two types of reproduction. Monoecious and dioecious. Additionally, the life cycle of these creatures may include a trochophore larva. The structure and function of animals depend on the kind of skeleton they have. Certain animals have a hydrostatic skeleton due to the colomic fluid, other animals have an endoskeleton, still others have an exoskeleton, and some rely on the colomic fluid for chemical balance. To comprehend the great variety of animal life, it is essential to recognize these different structures along with their related functions. Invertebrates make up most of the animal kingdom and have a wide variety of nervous systems. These typically consist of a brain, nerve ring, ganglia, and double ventral nerve cord. Typically located at the head, the brain is responsible for controlling sensory organs and the body's activities. The nerve ring is a thick bundle of nerves that encircles the esophagus. Ganglia are nerve cell clusters found in and near the head that control specific parts of the body. Lastly, the double ventral nerve cord is a set of two long, parallel tracts of nerves that runs along the underside of the body. It takes sensory information back to the brain. Annelida is a large phylum of segmented worms, consisting of earthworms, leeches and ragworms. They are characterized by their true coelom a body cavity filled with fluid and surrounded by mesodermal tissue. They can be found in a variety of environments such as freshwater, saltwater and on land, and they are capable of both sexual and asexual reproduction. Annelids are divided into four classes. Clitolata, Polycheta, Oligocata and Herudinia. Polycheta is a phylum of annelids, more commonly known as bristle worms. These worms have a distinct body structure comprising of segments and a notable head section with cephalization, which contains organs such as eyes, tentacles, and palps. Its class tubiculus is a type of marine bristle worm. Invertebrates from the phylum are dioecious, meaning they are unisexual. They further possess parapodia, which are covered in setae and serve for locomotion and respiration. These parapodia typically do not possess gonoducts, with gametes being shed into the coelom before being passed out through nephridiopores. An incredibly diverse group of organisms, invertebrates encompass an amazing range of life. Fertilization in this particular phyla occurs externally, and the development of the organism follows a larval stage known as a trochophore. An excellent example of the evolutionary process, this is only one of many examples of the complex biology of invertebrates. Nereids are worm-like creatures that inhabit the ocean. These include the sandworm, ragworm, clamworm and seamouse. 
The Aphrodite is a species of Nereid that stands out through its peculiar abilities, such as the capacity to regrow its own head. Not only are Nereids remarkable creatures, but they also provide an important source of biodiversity in the ocean and help maintain its delicate ecosystem balance. Arenicola lugworm is an important part of animal diversity. Found in the intertidal zone, these worms burrow down into the sand to feed, breathe, and find shelter. They are equipped with remarkable adaptations that enable them to survive in such an unpredictable environment. This includes a unique ability to filter particles from the sediment, as well as an impressive capability to extract oxygen efficiently. In addition, their thick cuticle helps them defend against predators. The marine ecosystem would suffer without Arenicola lugworm as they are a critical part of the carbon cycle. Oligocata is a class of organisms that includes earthworms, tubifex, and other creatures that live in moist soil and freshwater. Unlike other organisms, they lack a distinct head. They play a very important role in their respective ecosystems, providing food for animals higher in the food chain and breaking down waste. Oligocata are extremely interesting creatures, and their various behaviors and adaptations are worth further study. The diversity of invertebrates is incredible, and this slide focuses one of the less known phyla, Clitellata. Reproduction involves a clitellum and a cocoon being formed during breeding season, as well as the use of setae to aid in locomotion. We'll next talk about some of the more interesting clitellata and look at some of the adaptations they employ to survive. Invertebrate phyla show remarkable variety. Species such as Ferratima, Megascolex, and Tubifex have direct development, not requiring a larval stage. They are monoecious, meaning individuals can reproduce without a partner. This only adds to the varied and intricate nature of invertebrate phyla. Leeches have existed for many centuries, inhabiting both fresh and saltwater bodies, as well as humid land habitats. Predominantly found as ectoparasites, they live on the surface of other animals. Leeches possess a remarkable anatomy that enables them to cool down quickly, allowing them to exist in a wide array of climates and habitats. In addition, they are successful hunters, using their chemical and tactile moments to detect their target. Leeches are a crucial species in the animal kingdom, playing a vital role in the food chain and offering essential ecological advantages. We can observe that the invertebrate phyla features a segmented and flattened body with no internal segmentation and a definite number of segments. Locomotion is aided by suckers and the clitellum is more visible during breeding season. Botryoidal tissue is found in organisms with a coelom and its purpose is not definitive. It can vary from being a part of the excretion process or storing items such as iron, calcium, and revascularization during injury. This tissue is so named because it is shaped similarly to a bunch of grapes. Invertebrates exhibit a wide range of diversity between species. Many of them share a common trait in their reproductive system. In males, a serous is an organ used for both internal fertilization and direct egg development. Occasionally, a single individual may contain both male and female reproductive organs, which is a condition known as hermaphroditism. Leeches are among the most intriguing invertebrates on Earth, two examples being Hemodipsa, the land leech, and Pontobdella, the marine leech. Hemodipsa is normally seen in damp soils and is found in tropical or subtropical atmospheres, while Pontobdella is both found in marine and freshwater settings globally. 
Leeches are celebrated for their high rate of multiplying and multiple species possess healing capabilities that have been used for thousands of years. They are unusual and captivating creatures that require additional research. Polychaetes, oligochetes, and hirudinids are animals of great interest. Although they are not as widely recognized as other species, they have a significant role in the world. Polychaetes are marine annelids with many setae. This group includes aquatic creatures such as tubifex. Oligochetes are mainly found in moist soils and freshwater, with the earthworm being the most known species. Hirudinids, or leeches, are used for medicinal purposes as they have the ability to exchange substances between organisms. These creatures are found in the sea, freshwater, and on moist land. They have relevant characteristics and features for many aspects of life. The various phyla of invertebrates are introduced in this slide. These include free-living organisms which come in various forms and sizes. These can be ectoparasites, free-moving, burrowing, or tube-dwelling. Polycheta, Oligocata, and Herudinia are among them, each with distinct heads containing sense organs like eyes, tentacles, and palps, or lacking distinct heads. All of these phyla of invertebrates have a special purpose and place in our world. Polychaetes are a type of invertebrate animal belonging to the phylum Annelida. They are segmented worms which lack parapodia but have a clitellum. Parapodia are appendages that aid in movement and respiration while the clitellum forms a cocoon during the breeding season. Although the clitellum is not always visible, it helps to differentiate polychaetes from other worms such as oligochetes and herudinia. I'm going to talk about the different types of animals belonging to the invertebrate phyla. These can be subdivided into three groups based on their reproductive systems. Monoecious, dioecious, and gonadux. Monoecious animals are bisexual, having both male and female reproductive organs, while dioecious animals are unisexual, possessing only one sex of reproductive organ. Gonoducks are found in both animal types and are in charge of transporting gametes out from the coelom and through nephridiopores. Examples of invertebrate phyla include polycheta, oligocata, and herudinia. Animal diversity is classified into three main phyla of invertebrates, polycheta, oligocata, and herudinia. These phyla are differentiated by the way in which fertilization and development take place. Fertilization can be external, internal, or both while development may include a trochophore larval stage or may develop directly without a larval stage. This diversity of processes demonstrates the great variety of ways animals interact with their environment. The three phyla of invertebrates, polycheta, oligocata, and herudinia, have certain things in common when it comes to their body structure. These include having a dorso-ventrally flattened body with a definite number of segments, with each segment externally subdivided into annuli. Polychaetes, oligochetes and herudinia are all separate phyla of animals that display distinct characteristics. Polychaetes are characterized by their segmented bodies with several appendages that help them to move around their surroundings. Oligochetes, commonly referred to as earthworms, make use of their tiny setae to move through the earth. Herudinia, or leeches, are known for their specialized suckers that aid their movement. Each species coelom is filled with botryoidal tissue, which is likened to a bunch of grapes and has a major role in aiding the movement and excretion of the animal. More than three quarters of all known animal species on Earth are invertebrates, living in every type of environment from microscopic organisms to large swarms of insects. This slide looks at four of the most prominent invertebrate phyla. Ferratima, Megascolex, Tubifex, Herudinaria, Pontobdella, Hemodipsa, Nereus, Aphrodite, Arenicola, Polycheta, and Oligocata. Each of these phyla has a common trait. 
a copulatory organ called the serous. This organ allows the sperm of the male to be transferred to the female for reproduction. Species of invertebrates in these phyla include freshwater leeches, marine leeches, land leeches, sandworms, sea mice, and lugworms. Invertebrates are vital for our global ecosystem, performing key roles such as nutrient cycling and pest control.